Good morning, friends, and welcome to our Super Kids lessons today. Today is Tuesday, and we are on Unit 12, Lesson 2, and we're going to start this morning with our decoding, okay? Now, my hope is that you have your Super Kids whiteboard, your Super Kids pen, your Super Kids eraser, your word workbook, and your reading book all ready at the table next to you. Right now, all you need are your eyes, your listening ears, and your speaking voice, okay? And so we're going to begin with, yesterday we learned these two letters, A and W, when they stand next to one another, spell the aw sound, the aw sound as in jaw, say that, jaw, and claw, claw, paw, say paw, draw, say draw, saw, say saw, straw, say straw, law, say law. All of these are words that have one syllable because I only hear one vowel sound in each of these words and that's the aw sound. Okay, now if I get up and I move our arrow, oh, I will see once again I have that aw, but the difference is this time aw is not at the end of the word. Those two letters that spell the aw sound are in the middle of the word. And we're gonna put different consonants in front of and behind them. In this group of words, the consonant in front is changing, but the consonant N in the back is staying the same. So A-W-N is on. And if I put D in front of it, it becomes dawn. Dawn, say that. John. Then we have on lawn. Say that with me, please. Lawn. The next one is y on yawn. I told you yesterday, even saying that word makes me yawn. Yawn. Okay? So we have dawn, lawn, yawn. The all sound is in the middle of each of those words. Over here, we have the same thing, A-W, that spells the sound aw in the middle of the word. The thing that they have in common or the same is that they have the ol sound at the end. So the ending sound in each of these words is aw, okay? Now if I put b in front of aw, I have ball. It's not the kind of ball we play with, but the kind that means to cry. Ball, all right? Cur all crawl the baby likes to crawl up the steps and then i have sh all shawl that's something we learned earlier in the year it's a, a piece of cloth a covering that women often wrap around themselves to keep themselves warm on a cool night so let's go through the words again ready dawn lawn yawn ball crawl shawl Let's go back. Jaw, paw, saw, law. Claw, draw, straw. Excellent. Okay, now you can go ahead and go ahead and get those Super Kids student whiteboards and Super Kids, kids pens ready for our next activity which is always our spelling activity, all right? Just as many words today as there were yesterday. So we're gonna do the six words first and then we'll erase and we'll come back and do our sentences. So the first word, boys and girls, is? Saw. I saw a rainbow outside. Saw. Saw. I saw a rainbow outside. Saw. Number two. Dawn. The sun came up at dawn. 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 Number three. 
paw. That dog will shake your hand with his paw. 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 We're up to number four. Lawn. My sister is mowing the lawn. 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 Number five. Draw. Draw a picture of your friend. Draw. Draw. Draw a picture of your friend. Draw. And our last word is? Crawl. The baby is learning to crawl. 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 The baby is learning to crawl. All right, let's go ahead and put the lids on our pens for one minute and we'll check our work, okay? And the first answer is saw, S-A-W. Pat yourself on the back if you got that one right. Dawn, D-A-W-N, Dawn. Round of applause if you got that one right. Next one, Paul, P-A-W, Paul. Yay, you've got that one right. Next, we have lawn, L-A-W-N, lawn. Pat yourself on the back if you got it right. Next one is draw, D-R-A-W, draw. Halo on your head if you got that one right. Last one, crawl, C-R-A-W. And again, a round of applause if you got that one correct. All right, now I'm going to ask you to write the sentences, and here we go. Draw a cat's paw. Draw a cat's paw. Please print the sentence. Draw a cat's paw. Please remember to begin and end your sentence correctly. Draw a cat's paw. Okay, here's our next sentence. Sit on the lawn and yawn. Ooh. Sit on the lawn and yawn. There's that word yawn again. Sit on the lawn and yawn. When you have finished printing the sentence, sit on the lawn and yawn, please make sure you begin and end your sentence correctly. Sit on the lawn and yawn. Okay, let's check our first sentence. Draw, D-R-A-W, and it should have begun with a capital letter. It's the first word in the sentence, A, cats. This is not a contraction. That apostrophe is there to tell you that something belongs to the cat. Paw, okay? The paw is what belongs to the cat. It's a telling sentence, and therefore it should end with a period. And our next sentence is, sit on the lawn, L-A-W-N, and yawn, Y-A-W-N. And again, it is a telling sentence, so it should end with a period. So if you want to erase that and put your tools away and go ahead and grab your Word workbook, page 62. Now, we are going to do um, one of these together, and then you will go ahead and finish this up after our lesson, all right? Now, yesterday we learned that the letters A, W, when they stand next to one another, can stand for the aw sound. And last week we learned that when the letters A, L, L come together, they can spell the aw sound, all right? So we're going to be working with words that have both the A, W and the A, L in them, all right? So, when I look at this sentence, I see two words above the handwriting lines. They are the word d on, dawn, and the word l, aw, 
lawn, lawn. So I have to read the sentence and decide which one of my two words best finishes the sentence. The sun comes up at blank. Now I'm going to try it with both words. The sun comes up at dawn. That sounds pretty good. The sun comes up at lawn. Hmm, which one makes the most sense? I think the first one does. So I'm going to draw a circle around the word I'm choosing, which is dawn, and then I'm going to print it on the handwriting lines. And you may do that as well. And then the sentence reads, the sun comes up at dawn. Now, boys and girls, you will complete number two, three, four, and five when we have finished our lesson here this morning. All right, and so if you have finished writing that, then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to look at Word Workbook page 63. Now, on the other page, on page 62, you were practicing the skills that you've learned with those letters A-L-L -L, spelling the aw sound and those letters A-W spelling the aw sound. On this page, you're practicing those memory words that have been part of our learning in unit 12. And they are come, coming, they, our, and put. And again, this is reviewing not just our spelling of the memory words, but our recall or our comprehension of the story that you read yesterday. So it says, Tick said, Cats, it's dawn, blank outside with me. Hmm. Come outside with me, coming outside with me they outside with me, our outside with me, put outside with me. I think the best choice is come, but I need to look carefully because it says Tig said cats, it's dawn. And that's the end of her sentence. Come begins her second sentence. So when I print the word come, I need to make sure since it's the first word in the sentence, that it begins with an uppercase C. Okay, Tick said, Cass, it's dawn. Come outside with me. That makes sense. Make sure you remember that that's the first word in the second sentence there, so it must begin with an uppercase C, even though it's not an uppercase C here. So let's go ahead and we're going to put a little X in front of that because we've used that memory word. And again, when we finish our lesson here, you will go ahead and finish up two, three, four, and five on your own. I have all the confidence in the world that you will have no problems with that whatsoever. All right, so you may close your word workbook and you can go ahead and put your um, word workbook and your pencil to the side and you'll want to grab your um, super kids reading book and you want to open that up to page 88 and remember 88 is eight tenths and eight ones so let's go ahead and put one set of books away and take out the second now Yesterday we read Up at Dawn, and it had all of these words that had that new awe sound made by the letters A-W. In today's story that we're going to begin to read, the title is Tex McGraw's Visit, okay? And you'll see that some of the words that have the awe sound in them are made by those three letters A-L-L but other words that have the all sound in them are made by the letters A-W. So let's look at the A-L-L -L words first. Taller, now that's a two syllable word because I can hear the all and the er sound. Taller, small, one syllable. All, one syllable. Calling, 
two syllables because I can hear the aw sound and the ith in ing. Called. Mm, that's a tricky one. Called. All I hear is the d sound. So that's just one syllable. McGraw. One. McGraw. Lawn. One vowel sound. Awful. Two syllables because I hear two sounds, aw and full. Awning, two syllables. An awning is um, a cover, a type of shade that keeps the sun out. Usually it's above windows. Saw, one syllable. Pause, one syllable. I only hear the aw sound. Tidy is a story word, means neat, okay? And that's two syllables because I can hear the long I and then the long E at the end. Down up here at the bottom, we have our memory words. Come, coming, they, our, and put. And remember, the title of contents just doesn't tell us the different titles. It also tells us where I can find the story in the book. So if I go to Tex McGraw's visit and I slide my finger across, I see that this story begins on page 102. That's 100, zero tens, and two ones. So if you would be so kind as to um, get your book and open to page 102. And I will open my book to page 102. Okay, so. We're going to get ready to listen to the story. You're going to track with your ear and your eye and your finger if you need to. Mrs. Moran will stop from time to time to talk about each of the pages that we're reading. So here we go. Tex McGraw's visit. Look at this, said Hot Rod. Tex McGraw is coming. Tex McGraw? said Cass. I never miss his TV show. I like it too, said Tick. He travels all over and you see interesting animals. Why is he coming here? asked Cass. He's picking the winner of the Grand Land Contest, said Hot Rod. To win, your land has to look Grant, no litter. What if Tex McGraw comes by our bus? asked Tick. We have junk all over the lawn. It looks awful. What will he think of us? He'll think we are lazy litter critters, said Oswald. Let's tidy up the bus before Tex McGraw comes said Hot Rod. Perhaps we can win the Grand Land Contest. Okay now friends, what I learned on page 102 is, I asked myself, title says Tex McGraw, so I was asking myself, who is Tex McGraw? And right away I find out that Tex McGraw is a star of a TV show that the super kids like to watch. And I also learned that what he does is to travel all over and he introduces you to different types of interesting animals. But I wondered why, if he's a TV star, would he be coming to where the super kids are? And I got that answer too. He's coming to pick the winner of the Grand Land Contest. Now, I'm sorry, then I have my head scratching a little bit more. What's a Grand Land Contest? Only to find out it is if your land looks grand, that means it looks very, very nice. It's extremely good looking. And important to, to text is that it has no letter. So then I look at this picture and I think to myself, oh me, oh my, what would text think of the land where the super kids hang out? Because it's looking kind of messy. And even Oswald has a comment about that. He thinks that if Tex McGraw came right now, he would probably call the super kids 
lazy litter critters because they've got litter all over the place. And so the super cats decide to solve the problem by cleaning up their mess before Tex McGraw comes into town. Let's see what happens. Tick, tack, tock, and Fritz helped Oswald pick up trash. Alf and Duck scrubbed the bus. Etta Betta hung a planter. And Icky put plants in it. Sal and Hot Rod put up an awning with stripes. Lily and Cass got a bench. They put it under the awning. Our bus looks like new, said Oswald. What will we get if we win the contest? The winners get to be on TV with Tex McGraw, said Hot Rod. Just then, Lily saw a big van. Look, she yelled. Tex McGraw is coming. Wow, their land looks much better than it did on the previous two pages, okay? The kids have decided that they want to win the Grand Land Contest. So each of them do something to help clean up their area. Tick, tack, and top, and Fritz helped Oswald pick up the trash, okay? At a beta hung a planter, and you can see that a planter is a wooden box in which they are putting flowers, okay? Sal and Hot Rod put up an awning, and here you see that awning, okay? It's that piece of cloth that's covering um, the, well, not covering it, but coming out over the window, so it keeps the sun off the window and out of the bus, all right? Lily and Cass got a bench and put it under the awning. Which, so anybody could sit under here and it would be very shady. Bus doesn't look old anymore. It looks pretty new, okay? Then the kids have to stop and Hot Rod has a good question. We've done a great job, but what do we get if we win this contest? And the answer was that they get to be on TV. And just as they were finishing up, Lily spots Tex McGraw coming around the corner. It looks like they may have cleaned up just in the nick of time. Let's see what happens next. We need to walk in front. Sorry, guys. All right, here we go. The van stopped. A small man with a big hat got out. Is that Tex McGraw? asked Oswald. He has freckles just like me, said Cass. He looks taller on TV, whispered Jig. Okay, so I think to myself, oh, if I were to describe Tex McGraw to Mr. Sherrard, what would I say that he looked like? Well, I think I would say he was a small man that had a big hat, okay? And that he has lots of freckles on his face and it looks like he has blonde hair. He likes to dress like a cowboy, okay? And I might stop and think to myself, hmm, how is the way he looks in person in front of all of the super kids different from how he looks on TV. On TV, he looks a lot taller than he does in person. And we're gonna stop there today. Um, and as we finish up our lesson, remember um, that at the beginning of the lesson, we practiced the two sets of letters that spell that sound of all. And those can be A, L, L, and they can be A, W. And you're going to go back and you are going to finish up page 62 
to uh, practice with those letters and sounds. And then you're gonna go over to page 63 and you're gonna finish up practicing finishing sentence with your memory words in them. When you finish that, then you're going to open your Super Kids reading book and you're going to read from page 102 to page 106 of Tex McGraw um, to a friend at home. And that friend can be mom, it can be dad, it can be an older brother or sister, it can be a younger brother or sister, it could be one of your stuffed animals, okay? And then when you're finished, mom or dad will give you the reading comprehension sheet that goes along with the pages that you've read. Boys and girls, I cannot stress enough that each question on that paper is worth two points. One point for the answer and one for remembering to answer incomplete sentences using the use the question to answer the question strategy. Some of you are getting very, very good at it. Some of you got good at it for a couple of days last week and then you started going back into old habits. If you want full credit for your work, correct answer and use the question to answer the question strategy, okay? I will see you in person a little bit later today. See you for now, bye-bye. Thank you.